welcome back to another episode of Jesus Spin Time Geek Out section. Today, yes, it's the second day. It's surprising. It's the second day I actually make a video. This time is about Crisis on Infinite Earth CW, the crossover between Flash, Batwoman, Legend of Tomorrow, Supergirl, and Black Lightning. Interesting, right? So, this storyline I've been waiting for a while, and uh, I'm I'm not a DC diehard fan. I know a little bit of DC, uh, more of Marvel, uh, but uh, I know a little bit about the uh, comic book series of uh, you know the Crisis, the Infinite Crisis series um, in the nineties. And um, it was really interesting. I, I would really want to read them the, the whole the whole series because it's not only one crisis series. There's a lot of different crisis uh, series have, that have been going on during the years. But this TV uh, series, they did an amazing job. Um, they made a lot of reference to the comic books. Um, and I really like it, I really enjoy it. Um, the last two episodes, it was amazing. To the point that uh, I got tears coming out on the last two episodes. Well, the first, uh, the, I would say, uh, the part four, I hold back on part five, the last episode from last night. Uh, I think it was on Tuesday night. Uh, anyway. I couldn't hold it. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do any spoilers. Um, so, if you just in case you didn't uh, have the time to watch it, but I really recommend to watch it. It's just what they did. It it was amazing. This storyline, uh, where the person that started all this it was Green Arrow, the Oliver Queen, being the Green Arrow years ago, uh, almost ten years, ten years now. And, and we know he's been um, saying in the last two years that he was going to uh, end it soon. So in, then uh, last year he said that season eight, um, season eight, I think it is, it was going to be the last uh, season. Um, and, and he was to, because he went to move on. So the way they actually, they did it, I like it. It, it just uh, reminds me how Marvel did with Tony Stark, uh, with Robert Downey Jr. He was the one to start it all, and at the end of Endgame, you know, he's the one that, you know, completely saved the world, saved the universe. Um, I'm gonna give you this spoiler. Yes, Oliver Queen, Green Arrow, did the same. He actually sacrificed himself to um, save his friends and also to save the multiverse um, and give the opportunity and, and and that was an amazing because he's the one that been uh, growing up with us in the TV since the beginning when he was really arrogant and he focused on just a specific uh, you know uh, agenda from uh, his dad until he became a father and a husband and a better uh, superhero and and coming all together at the end where he actually get all inside of him all his emotions and feelings come in peace and sacrifice that was a nice way to put it like no heroes no not everyone have superpowers so this means that you can do it you just need the that that power of will and love friendship that that is the power they have and that was spread out there and that's when my tears came out <laughs> and it was really nice and in hearing for the last time you have felt this universe 
that was amazing. Uh, that was a really nice touch to close up. And same, that was the same as uh, once again to Tony Stark, I am Iron Man. Then he snapped. That no, that was really a nice way to close uh, this decade of, of Green Arrow. Now, the actual end where he's talking, uh, Oliver Queen is talking and saying, explaining what's going on with the other uh, uh, universe you know, and, and showing all the new stuff coming. So it, it was interesting, especially the Green Lantern, where actually they use the movie, uh, one of the movie scenes. Uh, and then put the uh, oh, what was the name? No, the Justice League. Also, I need to talk about that in just a moment. And the uh, Doom Patrol, the I think uh, Swamp Thing, the homage to Christopher Reeve. Uh, um, what else? Uh, 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 Titans. Also, uh, that was a nice way to combine the DC Universe from the comic books, the movies, and the TV shows into one. And all started because the Flash. Right there, when the Flash see the Flash from the actually DC Universe from the movies. That scene was in an impact for me because I never thought to see it in, in happening. I, I want to say thank you, Jim Lee, uh, and also thank you, Warner Brothers and DC, everyone that actually was involved. Thank you so much for making this happen. Because as fans, we just get excited that now we can just imagine like a crossover between TV shows and the movies. That's that's gonna be amazing because I love the TV shows. I love Flash, Arrow, uh, Supergirl, so so. Uh, but my main TV shows has been. The Flash and Arrow, I loved those those two, and and seeing that moment of Flash looking at the Flash, that was great, and then seeing the other uh, stuff at the end make me happy. Even I'm not a huge DC fan, but it made me happy because I can expect from you guys that anything can happen. That you can make the Flashpoint a movie. And something could be referenced to the uh, this crisis and TV show, or on the future, open to new uh, TV shows. A lot of stuff could happen now, thanks to that door that was open uh, this week on Crisis and Infinite Earth. So I really enjoyed the the series. I really enjoyed what has been done. I hope they keep bringing stuff like this. And looking forward to seeing new things, uh, um, you know, like that, and make the fans happy. Anyway, this is just what I got for today. So, just subscribe, like it, uh, follow me. I, I don't care. I just do this for fun. I'll just enjoy it and just try to be better at it. Anyway. And I keep saying anyway too much. I need to stop. I need to come with something else. <laughs> so, have a great week. Take care. Remember, keep spinning.